Hey designers, in today's tutorial we're going to draw this flat illustration using Illustrator in just a few steps. The theme of this illustration is analytics, so I'll have a cloud, a character and a chart to make up the composition. The first step is to get a piece of paper and start sketching. As always, if you want to follow along, you can download the sketch and the final vector files for free. The link is in the description of this video. After I've erased the first sketch, I'll clean it up by going over it one more time and get ready for Illustrator. Once you place it in a new document, go to the layers panel and lock the sketch layer up so you won't accidentally move it. We'll need to start tracing it using the pen tool and increase the size of the stroke to somewhere around 8 points. The way this style works is that we'll create a series of paths that have a solid outline and an empty fill in order to define the structure of the illustration, then start adding shadows using fill shapes and use an accent color to highlight certain elements. Try to use the sketch as a reference and add us the exact blueprint on how you're going to draw this path. I'm sure that if I would do this again, it would look a bit different just because I'm always trying to get a cleaner look from my flat illustration and look for opportunities along the way. Using the rectangle tool, you can start defining the browser window on the left hand side. Hold down Alt and create a copy of the bar, then hit Command D to replicate it. For this illustration, I wanted to have the character connected with the data in the cloud. That's why I recommend trying to have multiple elements overlapping and continuing the lines of each other. I just rounded off those corners by switching to the direct selection tool and dragging on the handles. With the whole thing selected, select the rounded cap and corner from the stroke panel on the right, group it, then lock it up so we can move to the next step, which is adding shadows. If you watched any of my previous videos, you know that I like using darker shapes that have a wavy look to them to define the shadow portions of an illustration and add some contrast to it. If you want to move faster, you can select multiple ones and sample the styling using the eyedropper tool. For the browser window, I'll create a shape, send it to the back, and set a white field to the toggle element so we can still see it, even though it will blend in with the shape that we just created. We can also play with some dimension and add some kind of a 3D effect using the simple shape that you can draw with the pen tool. It's up to you on which elements you're going to use this, as there's no real rules on how to do it. I would also recommend doing something like that with the chart bars, add a rectangle that has a solid color as the fill, have it offset to the left, and then use the direct selection tool to adjust the anchor points and give it this effect. We'll need to create one shape out of all of these paths. With them selected, go to Object, Expand, and make sure to have both options selected, then open up the Pathfinder window and click on the Merge option. Double click to enter the newly formed group of elements, use the magic wand to select all of the dark shapes, and while holding down Shift, Select the empty shapes that are left inside and remove them. This will make it easier to apply different colors to the illustration as you will only have to select one group of elements that is made out of a single fill and no outline color. Apply a dark violet blue shade and then we can add an accent color to the composition using the curvature tool. I'm going for a pale pink at first but we'll switch it with a pale orange and send it behind the main shapes. The beautiful part about this style is that you can go around the initial set lines and create random organic shapes whenever you want to highlight a particular part of the flat illustration. If you follow the steps in this tutorial, this should be the final result. Really appreciate if you can like this video so more people can see it and subscribe for more illustration tutorials. I always love to hear from you, so can't wait to talk more in the comment section of this video. See you in the next one. Bye!